Chief Justice Raymond Zondo is the fourth and last candidate that the Judicial Service Commission will interview and send in Johannesburg today for the position of the country's Chief Justice. 61-year-old Zondo was born in the impoverished uh, community of Ikopo in Guazul Natal on the 4th of May in 1960. He has served in various courts, including the Labour and Supreme Court of Appeal. Zondo was also part of a task team that developed the draft legislation on labour relations for post-apartheid South Africa in 1994. This saw the passing of the Labour Relations Act of 1995. For more on this, we bring in our colleague Hasina Gori, who's been covering the story. Very good morning to you, Hasina. Uh, you, you've been there for four days now, gotten a sense uh, of proceedings and processes. Uh, what's today looking like? Good morning, Desiree. Yes, a very different morning uh, today compared to the last uh, uh, three days. Um, usually a quiet start with the commissioners trickling in, but this morning there's almost a sense of excitement and anticipation. We saw a security sweep being done at the venue this morning uh, ahead of uh, the uh, acting Chief Justice Raymond Zondo. As you rightly pointed out, one of the only candidates has actually sat in this position, no stranger to the Constitutional Court, no stranger to the Apex Court, someone who's worked through very different um, courts as well as you mentioned so someone who's really understands when it comes to the uh, leadership and the administrative part of uh, the uh, job um, you know we've seen them over the last three days question various of the candidates on their judicial uh, judgments but also on the leadership and management uh, skills that they bring to the table because the job of the Chief Justice is not just sitting as the most senior judge on the Constitutional Court, but also the head of the judiciary, the uh, final uh, ad execution space and the maintenance of the courts fall also under this uh, kind of portfolio. So really asking those questions. We saw yesterday, uh, you know, the uh, Houting uh, Judge President, Dunson M. Lumbo, going through the rigor with some of those questions. And we expect something similar to come out of this today. I want to bring in Judges Matt and Begazeli uh, speaking to us uh, here. We've spoken through the week. Let's start with yesterday. You know, quite a dramatic day with a lot of questions. A different style of questioning than we saw on those first few days. Uh, what the sense that came out of that for Judges Matter? How are you feeling regarding that interview? Well, yesterday's interview, uh, it, de it, it dealt with uh, some weighty issues, uh, important issues regarding uh, Judge Mlambo's vision for the judiciary um, and what he plans to do. He spoke about technology, making sure that judiciary ha the judiciary has more te uses more technology. rather. Um, he also spoke about transformation, uh, reflecting on his personal record in bringing in more women to the bench. But, of course, it dealt with some controversial issues, um, including uh, allegations that uh, there was uh, sexual harassment, um, alle uh, allegations that there's political favoring of some nature in those courts. Those allegations, I think he dealt with them. Uh, the, interviews, uh, the interview yesterday had some low points, um, but I think he dealt with those adequately. And to reflect overall on the interviews this week, um, largely the JC has been focused on the task of interviewing and finding out whether these, these candidates are ready to be Chief Justice. But yesterday's interviews, I think it took a different posture, a disappointing posture, I must say. Um, but overall, the JSC has been, has been doing well. We, this is a sticky point with the JSC, specifically around their mannerism of interviewing candidates. It's not the first time. It's come under scrutiny. Um, and, and, and was it irresponsible of the JSC to allow for those allegations uh, to be put forward to the candidate for such a long time? It was six hours before the chair finally said, you know, let's expunge these. Um, and, um, you know, these, pr uh, these processes um, should have been put into place before, um, you know, they went into these interviews to ensure this doesn't happen. Yes. So the normal practice of the Judicial Service Commission is if there are allegations or objections against the candidate, the candidate is told beforehand, and, and they, uh, firstly, those allegations must be in writing, and the candidate is told beforehand, and uh, the, the, the candidate is also uh, required to prepare a written response. That written response is read into uh, the record, and the, the 
uh, uh, commissioners ask questions about that. So yesterday was unprocedural, and that's why it was expunged. Thank you so much. That was Mbeke Zile from uh, the Judges Matter speaking to us ahead of today's proceedings. We're told it's about to begin. They've just uh, seen the candidate, uh, Raymond Ozondo, the acting Chief Justice, taking his seat, and he's about to begin the morning of interviews. We know they usually begin with him outlining his education as well as the vision. Let's link to those proceedings as always on all the SABC platforms as well as the digital platforms.